wedding preparations in full bloom. Come, see my wares. You always bring the strangest things. look very powerful with that. This is the current fashion. All done. I must take my leave. So long. Cast about this lamp, my friend. my lord thank you may this feast set a spirit just like you to keep a king waiting at his own wedding yet i arrived in the end a part of me worried you wouldn't you look good oswald like a man about to marry a more powerful woman do i because I'm nervous as hell. Of all the battles a man can fight, the war against himself is the hardest to win. I hereby name you man and wife. And as man and wife, I name you... Oswald of Elmenham, first of his name, the rightful king of East Anglia. 
with this Lady Valdis, soul, fist, and beauty of this land. You've done it, Steward. A king now sits on the throne of East Anglia. Don't leave yourself out of this song. We did it together. Back to your dreams, then, of fire and Helheim. I lost my way some time ago. Hard to say when. I don't want to be here. I never did. This was half Dan's dream. He ordered me to see it through. In my dreams, I'm sailing, remember? Wind in my beard, salt on my lips. I want that life again. Whether or not I find it, only time will tell. Until then, let us feast, drink, and forget our pain! Skull, Ivor! Let's have a dr Your fist is without ale. Let us address that. Surely a special kind of metal is required for drinking before the new king? A metal not unlike your own. To Odin and his endless glories! And the new king of East Anglia! May his reign be long and good! Not bad, Wolfkiss. I wager you couldn't drink more than me if you tried. <laughs> A fool's wager. A challenge nonetheless. What say you? I will drink you under the table. <laughs> Confident, are you? Let us see how you fare against the ale beast of East Anglia. And we'll make it interesting. Put your silver where your mouth is. What say you? I accept. Yes, to celebrate. Skull! Drink more! So well you bought the anatomy. Skull! 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 Zael is strong, Brodeer. <laughs> but I am stronger. Better luck next time, Wolfkist. Now, you owe me some silver. Fine, take it. Represents fertility. Did you know that? As does Freya. What's your point? You impress me, Eivor. Your battle wisdom, your strength of character, skilled in so many ways. Yet I wonder is there any skill of mine that I could impress upon you? 
Even a fool has something to teach, whether they are aware of the lesson or not. Hey, hey. But I could show you how to wield my plow sword. Be plain about it, Stiff Spear. You want to lay with me, is that it? That I do. Will you follow me? To a place more comfortable? A good plow sword is a rare thing. Lead the way. A verse or two in some skull song. <laughs> I'll remember that for all time, Eivor. I shall as well, Brothir. Brothir? I'm not Brothir. Please, balls. You thought I was my brother? To be honest, I didn't think at all. Behold! All day long, all I hear is Bruthir this and Bruthir that. How strong he is, how handsome. It's always Bruthir, Bruthir, Bruthir. I long to join this crew, one all skulls will herald.
Wolf kissed. Gaze upon my parts. They stand so strong. Unbreakable at this distance, no? They are not, Brothia. My arrows shatter whatever target they strike. Even after draining so much meat, succeed and you shall be rewarded. <laughs> Keep your eyes open long enough to witness this, you drunken loud. Everything an easy task for the wolf kissed. Ah, oh, barely a challenge. Impressive, impressive. Here as promised. Now go enjoy the party. Does not run that way, Finir. He's been up there a while. Eivor, Eivor! Some sweet wine for a sweet swine? <laughs> Come join me! Saxon God wanders somewhere up here, does he not? I haven't seen him. I like to say he moves with mystery. Look! The moon! It moves untroubled now. But one day it will be eaten by a giant wolf and the nights will be black forevermore. Are you all right? I've tasted glory once again. And it was good. I'm glad to hear it. Now... I always felt like Skull or Hati. Chasing and trying to fulfill Halfdan's wishes. But now I've caught my sun and moon. I've got them and I... I don't know. You can let them go. Sail to a further shore. My longship's in Valhalla. Well, don't you remember? Fire starter. <gasps> Come on, let's get you to solid ground. Everything's spinny. You're very strong. You're very large. For this, Eivor, I've had one last glory. I should be happy. I am happy. Thank you. It need not be the last. Not the last. <laughs> Enough fun and games. I should see how Oswald is doing. Eivor, I'm about to address our guests, and I'd like you to be there. It's been a worthy ceremony so far. And have you had enough fun yet? I'm ready to hear you address your kingdom. Good. Come, come. Join me. Friends, honored guests, we've pushed through hard times. It seems like all we've known is loss and suffering, but it is not conflict that binds us. It is compassion. May we always favor compassion, even when our enemies refuse its boon. So to my Dane friends and neighbors, I give thanks for the bravery you have shown during our collective struggles. And for my fellow Christians, may we continue standing as examples of our Lord's grace. 
Lights in the dark. I see East Anglia's future right here, right now, in all of you, Dane and Saxon alike. To our future. Still a bit soft on insults, but the king has courage. And to Eivor, without whom none of this would have been possible. On behalf of East Anglia, let this ring be proof of our loyalty to the Raven Clan and all they have done for us today. Would you have any words of wisdom for us? To the good King Oswald! Skull! To Oswald! Skull! 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 Okay, everyone, the bridal race starts now. Remember, you all have to lose to the bride and groom. Steady all, and ready yourself for the wedding race. The king and his bride against all. My king. He... <laughs> <laughs> The sheep you left to guard me have been shorn. Oswald, king of sheep fuckers, show your eyes. I challenge you. I accept. No square. Only sweat and blood. He may be wounded, but don't let your guard down. Let's settle this. I will bury you, Saxon. I'll take all that is yours. Show mercy to one so malevolent, so cruel. I'll not give you the satisfaction of a good death, for my god forbids such cruelty. Therefore, you are outcast from this moment on. You have won. My life is yours. Your life is God's. <laughs> now go. Leave my kingdom, and never return! I do not understand this Saxon religion. Oswald is a coin. One side mercy, the other courage. There are few like him, I'll admit. Saxon or Dane. Such a strange display. Courage and restraint like I've never seen. With all that's happened, with all the chaos ruined wrought, still, Oswald found reason to spare him. It's a strange thing. A remarkable thing. From what inner spring does such kindness run? I'd like to know. With my duty here fulfilled, I now choose East Anglia. I fight for you, my king. Rise, old friend. You're embarrassing me. Be well, Finir. Your choice is a bold one. You continue to surprise Oswald of Ilmenham. Thank you, Eivor. When we first met, I made an oath. I promised you an alliance. You did. You'll have it. So long as I draw breath. Until next time, King. It seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news.
Surveying the area, Sunan. saw a rich man's home burning, yet he was hopeful, and death stood outside his door. It is always better to live, even in misery. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 
What? Dark spirits torment this land.
Eivor, thank Tyr. I heard shouting. Is something wrong? Holgir robbed me, and I demand he be punished. Ha! Huh. Rot disappointed word. Does the deer rub the stream when she takes a drink? Does a cow rub a field when he crops on sweet grass? Eivor, this matter requires sensitive judgment. Will you? Of course. From the beginning, please. Well now, there is no excuse too small, I see. Nothing to keep you from coveting that seat, is there? In Sigurd's absence, who has better claim to oversee these disputes? You might leave them to work it out for themselves, but that would mean... letting go, would it not? Please start again. Tell me all that has happened. I will start. I have been falsely accused by this Saxon Philistine. A Philly what? Are you mocking me? Silence, please. I will hear both of your complaints and render a decision, awarding compensation if needed. Understood? Holger, let me hear your sight. Eivor, you have known me as a skald for years. You have seen how my poems bring life and joy and wisdom to our people. And you know that my work requires a certain... Let us say, freedom, to make use of rare resources to compose my verses. Often, when lacking the proper tools, I have made use of novel items. Alvis's walking stick, Tovi's inks, all were given gladly. You cut off my horse's tail to make a brush, you bleed. Rowan? As I was saying, this morning, in the throes of poetic reverie, I realized that my latest piece required delicate brushwork. I could have used a frayed stick, some cloth, my hands, but no. I needed something gentler, softer. To make a perfect brush, I needed the fine hairs of a well-raised horse. And so I availed myself of a local resource. You clipped Alfgafur's tail to the rump without asking. It was early. I did not wish to wake you. Thank you, Holger. I believe I understand your position. Rowan, tell me your version of these events. Huh. As you are aware, Holger and I are neighbors. Near enough that I often catch him at my stables, stealing my tools. Borrowing! Holger, let him speak. Stealing, borrowing... My point being, I have always allowed him to use whatever he pleased. I greatly admire your Norse generosity and had hoped to match it. But this morning, Holger stretched the limits of my grace. Entering my stables for their feed, I found my most beautiful, gentle mare stripped of her tail. Bereft, not a strand in sight. I am ashamed to say my natural suspicion drew me to Holgir and how right I was. For when I peered across the lane, there he was, gripping a horsetail brush slathered with indigo, dragging it across a sheet of painting, Rowan. I was painting. You make it sound so crude. You see? Such willful arrogance. It will take ages for Ilgafu's tail to reach its former length. I demand compensation. I understand. Thank you, Rowan. I believe I have heard enough. If you will... My horse looks like a fool, Eivor. No handsomer than a donkey now. You must do something. Do not conflate hair with beauty, Rowan. She remains radiant. Elgifer's hair will grow back in no time. Quiet, both of you. Now listen. Olga, Rowan is clearly in the right. You shared the tail from his horse without gaining permission. I borrowed the tail! Borrowed! Does the reality of regrowth not make this a victimless crime? It is a two-victim crime, Holger. 
Though they are unharmed, you took without asking, and that will not do. As the horse's value has diminished significantly, you will pay Rowan its market price. But the horse was not for sale! Rowan! Admit it! My decision is final, Holger. Pay what you owe, and meet tomorrow as friends. And if I do, may I keep the horse? Pay the man and be done with it. Rowan, does this satisfy you? It does. Thank you, Eivor. Good. Then by Tyr's blessing, let this matter rest. We're done here. Return to your homes in peace. Would you allow me to pay you with a vibrant painting? After all, in some ways, you are its creation. Absolutely not. Silver is the only color I wish to see from you. Oh, hello, Eivor. Good day. That Holger, he is quite the character. I almost envy him. To see the world through such a muddy glass and live with such petty concerns. He hasn't a care in the world. Let's not walk too far with that idea. I need you right where you are. East Anglia is with us. Their King Oswald has pledged his loyalty to us. Eivor Kingmaker, we shall call you soon. Some interesting news. King Cheolvulv has sent Cheolbert to Shropshire. He hopes to install him as Elderman there. Good for Cheolbert. He should do well considering all he has learned from you. I gave him only a taste of my knowledge. The rest he will need to figure for himself. One more thing. I do not know if you heard, but Svend passed away a short time ago. The poor man slipped away in his bed. I had not heard, no. And how is Tovi? She must be gutted. It has been rough on her. She spends quite a lot of time at his burial mound. Speak with her, if you have the time. Randri, are you well? You seem distant. I'm fine. Only a little tired, but well enough. Shall we look at the map? Not until you tell me what is wrong. Oh, I think I have. I feel somewhat trapped. In this room, in this settlement, in this life. I cannot help you with your life just now, but... I can get you out of this room. What do you say? I don't know. There is much work to be done. Stop. Forget about alliances and responsibility for just a few hours. We could take a ride to Grand Bridge or somewhere nearby for a change of pace. That sounds lovely and too far to consider just now. But thank you, Eivor. Maybe another time. Now, what was it you needed? I want to see the Alliance map. Python asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult, the Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. The Wolfka! So glad to see. The Wolfka! So glad to see you.
I will see you later, friend. Say hi to Petra if you see her. can compare to sagas, to true poetry. Compare? I think it conquered. has a nice scent to it today. Got a few new things. I would like to see what you have in stock. done? I'm off. Be well, friend. Make sure you talk to your raven regularly. They like that. I have to go. See you soon. Ballet, Eivor! Compare? I think it conquers it. It is quick, clever, accessible to all. It is... Much we were. Toby. Eivor, it's Sven. He... He passed while I was away. Toby, I'm sorry I wasn't there. No one was. We had planned to brand Tekla's barrels that morning. And we talked about what we might have for supper. And when I went to collect him, he was... in his bed. Sleeping, I thought. But he was already gone. I'm sure he went in peace. But he went with plans. Things he wanted to do. Things he meant to do. His death was so... empty. Not like in our stories. What stories do you mean? When we tell stories, 
the old and wise, they have this calm about them. They know when their end has come and they are ready. Sven wasn't ready. And I wasn't ready either. He was supposed to teach me things. I'm still learning. Everyone looks at me like I will simply carry on his work. As if nothing happened. Because they don't know. They don't know I'm not ready. Life may ask more of us than we are prepared to give. But all we can do is our best. Hmm. I was not prepared to lose my parents. But in a flash, they were taken from me. I pressed on, determined to live. That must have been punishing. But you are so strong, and so determined. Someone else might have done better than me. Or worse. But this was the fate woven for me. So I live it. I know Sven believed in you, in your craft. So do you believe in him? Do you trust him? He was the most skilled artist I have ever known. And he chose you. You may step up or step down, whatever you decide. But know that he had faith in you. Thank you, Eivor. I need to get home. Be strong, Tovi. And know you are valued. You have taught Tovi well. Through her, you live on. Alvis, I am the superior wordsmith. Admit to a falsehood? I Ranvi, take a break. Let us make for Grandbridgeshire and get you out of this musty room. Do you mean now? Right now? Of course. You said you were tired of all this. So why not stretch your legs and fill your lungs? I did ask, didn't I? You're right. Lead the way, Eivor. Follow me. We won't take the longship today. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much hey, time. Eivor, good to see you. We will need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandjabritsha. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Uh, are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Huh.
It really is lovely here. I have not been this far either. Isn't that awful? You think safety awful? To live one's life on so small a pen. Hear stories from you and the scouts without ever venturing further. <laughs> Gods, do you smell that? The earth and the air. It is good to be out here. Eivor, there. What is that? This is where the Summer Army retreated when Granterbridge was lost. They seem to have resettled the city in full now. Right, right. I know this land so well by its map, but to see it in person brings it to stunning life. A Roman marvel. I will not soon forget this sight. And here we are. Hey! Welcome to Granterbridge. We should make our way to the Longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London. And a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. Favors you, A4. I will come. In that glory. Show me your valor in battle and earn your place at the great table. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Randvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Randvi. Eivor seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Something happened. Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vodder. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits having camped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning.
So what will you... We can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandits surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. The bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Randy. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from the table for a day, and already you are lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits. But do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf-kissed Iron-fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. Bandit camp. All right, stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. I thought you wanted to do this in secret. You seemed hard for a battle, so here we go. Done. Now to deliver Magni his horse.
was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink. To celebrate our victory. At home. Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor, are out there? Our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse. And if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside, waiting for you. Thank the gods she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Over here! Look at this! Oh, someone is thirsty! Are you determined to get drunk? I am determined to get you drunk. Come on. Scared I will outpace you. To be honest, a little. We are close to them, Hana. What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. See? Should not have tried to outdrink me, Randri. It cannot be done. Hmm. Strange. I see your lips moving so rapidly, yet all I hear is, thank you, Randvi. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Oh, Randvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you. For everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? 
Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Randvi, slayer of bandits and breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Sunivar described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Soma. Was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close, very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean... Did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. Hmm. I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters, Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. <laughs> I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Randvi. If you must.
land bears steep effects. Can go. Wait here a moment. I'll be back. Can go. <laughs> Please send me an angel, my lord. Lord, that do. You have lost your apples. But I have. Oh, a devilish wind took me over, and I worry for them. But I've saved the finest and the juiciest. Oh, these apples explode in your mouth with the iridescent light of Jesus. What makes them special? An apple is an apple, no? Oh, I beg to differ, my friend. You see, every year we make the pilgrimage to the west. Hammer's farm. Farmer Hammer to the west? Yes, we call him the Hammer. And his apples are fine. 
have this sweet iron tinge in them. My friends have already made it back. They are surely feasting already, but... I fell on some misfortune. My cart busted. Oh, if only me back wasn't knotted like a dying oak! Cum magna voce latrari canes belli cubile exarsit. Sic faciam wimper felium et ambulato periuga. All cursed corruption lurks here. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Sunuva stories tell. Can you imagine how it looks? Staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Keep up! Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. Climb well for one who folds maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of long houses and hammered a wrist of long shoes. My hands are callous, hard work. Well, well. Look at this.
stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but... Now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger, free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. I can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat, it may be the air, but there's no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Andre? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement. <laughs> 